The Five W's of Lung Cancer In this video podcast, we will discuss important clinical principles regarding lung cancer. The presentation objectives are organized into the five W's of lung cancer that you should remember. Who develops lung cancer? When does lung cancer develop? Why do certain individuals have a greater risk of developing lung cancer? Where does lung cancer specifically occur? What do lung cancer patients clinically present with? And finally, we will discuss how we manage lung cancer patients. Who develops lung cancers? Smoking cigarettes is still the number one risk factor for developing lung cancers. Similarly, individuals with long-term carcinogenic occupational exposures are at significant risk. Examples of such exposures include asbestos, exposure to metals, radiation, such as radon, and various organic compounds. Recent research has identified that some non-smokers have significant risk of developing lung cancer. The demographic identified at higher risks include non-smoking Asian females. This is due to an inherited genetic predisposition, which we will introduce in our next section. Why do some individuals have a greater risk of developing lung cancer? Genetic predisposition is a major contributing factor in developing lung cancer. Both smokers and non-smokers have the possibility of having genetic susceptibility. Each group has specific genes which predispose them to a greater risk. Genetic susceptibility is then compounded with direct risk factors, such as environmental or occupational exposures, leading to a very specific populations with greater risk. When does lung cancer develop? Increasing age, as with most cancers, is correlated with a higher risk of lung cancer. However, lung cancer is often asymptomatic until late stages. This leads to diagnosis at a later age than the cancer initially developed. Where does lung cancer specifically occur? We will discuss the macro and micro anatomy of lung cancer in relation to the different types in this section. At a gross level, lung cancers can occur in various locations of the lung. Microscopically, each type of cancer has characteristic histological features which aids in differentiation. Lung cancer is commonly divided into two main groups, non-small cell lung cancer and small cell lung cancer. The differentiation of these types is important for diagnosis, management, and prognosis. Non-small cell lung cancers, specifically adenocarcinomas, appear more often peripherally in the lungs. Histologically, an adenocarcinoma can appear like glandular tissue and produce mucin. Other examples of non-small cell carcinomas include squamous cell carcinomas. Small cell carcinomas appear more centrally in the lungs. They are very distinct in histology and they appear as small, blue, round cells, hence their name, small cell carcinoma. What is the clinical presentation of lung cancer patients? Many lung cancers are asymptomatic at early stages and symptoms do not appear until much later stages. This is why lung cancer has a high mortality rate. Patients do not get diagnosed or receive treatment until advanced stages. With respect to symptoms of lung cancer, Specific symptoms can be related to local, lymphatic, and hematogenous spread, 
as reviewed in our other video podcast, The Mechanism of Cancer Spread. To review, as an example, local spread symptoms may be related to airway involvement and include shortness of breath, cough, and hemoptysis. How is lung cancer diagnosed and managed? Diagnosis is accomplished through imaging and tissue diagnosis. Common imaging modalities for characterizing a lung mass include chest x-ray and a CT scan. Tissue can be sampled through bronchoscopies, potentially combined with endobronchial ultrasounds, or mediastinoscopies, or thoroscopies. Following a tissue diagnosis, we would stage the lung cancer to assist in treatment plans, and this may include additional CT scans, a PET scan, or bone scan. Treatment for non-small cell lung cancer is generally surgery in early stages and chemotherapy with potential radiation in later stages. Targeted chemotherapy now exists for some non-small cell lung cancers. Treatment for small cell lung cancer is generally chemotherapy and radiation. In summary, lung cancer has high mortality rates and often a poor prognosis. Currently, an effective screening program for lung cancer, like mammograms for breast cancer, has not been implemented. One option involving a low-dose CT scan on a recurrent basis may be effective in reducing lung cancer. This concludes our short introduction to the five W's of lung cancer. For further information, you can refer to the lung cancer module on learnoncology.ca. Thank you.